Hello! Glitch Reaper here. Or am I just the glitch? It's hard to say. <laughs> I mean, this is the way things are now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're seriously crazy Minecraft. <laughs> You've earned your name several times over. Like, really. Okay. Uh, thing is that I do have things ready to rock and roll when it comes to going to uh, space. But there's something special I want to... Oh, I guess I have to hit the other button. Something I want to at least try out. Space Race Manager. This button you don't see too terribly much of, but it's kind of something that uh, Galacticraft did, in fact... Uh, well, McDoodle added into Galacticraft uh, right before he went out of the 1.7.10 cycle. So I want to see if I can actually do this. Um, team glitch fans yeah that sounds good uh, add players obviously myself um, okay I, gu I guess it just starts it on you so fair enough oh coming soon that wasn't fully developed yet this time Okay, fair enough. Uh, customized flag. Oh, free painting style. Okay, okay. So I was kind of wondering. Okay, you can use like pen, brush. There's the back. Uh, there is a pixel grid. Maybe I should just see if I can translate it. Let me see here. Red and green. Okay, okay. That'll do. Um... Let me reduce that back for a moment, because I want to do kind of a lighter blue for most of this. Yeah, that, that'll that work. Okay, um, so does this, okay, no, that's, I have to, oh, I have to have it on this, okay, I think. Oh, okay, I'm drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing here. Can kind of imagine where I'm going with this. Uh, does it have a? Is this a splash tool? Can I? Nope. That's not what that does. Um, so just so put that back to where it was. Thank you. Um, okay, so that is not a splash tool or uh, area tool. Okay, so this we literally have something like. Uh, a paint program in Minecraft specifically to do this flag. Because I, I want to be able to plant my flag. Uh, which I haven't actually technically crafted yet. You do get flagpoles, and they have... It used to be a little different. Like, it used to be where if you got the flagpole, uh, it would have one that was always a uh, it, an image of uh, your character's skin's uh, head, like whatever you had for your face. So, I mean, that was cool it, enough, but then he does this feature where you could do, like, custom, uh, like, all sorts of custom flags doing it this way. This is slower going than I first thought it would be for doing this tool. But it's okay. I mean, it works. Because I'm obviously going to try to create this flag this way. I mean, it is filling it in uh, grid pattern style. So if I chase down the line very carefully, I should be able to rebrighten it. Yeah, that's working beautifully. Painting with Glitch Reaper. Okay. I'm not Bob Ross, but it works. So yes, go ahead, unleash your favorite Bob Ross meme. <laughs> I, I can take it. Especially when I used to actually watch that. Like when it was actually on its original broadcast on public TV. But that was a long time ago. And even then, I'm not sure if that was the original showing. 
it may have been like even that may have been like syndicated release so i have no idea if that was like the original showing because they've like redone that several times now partially because i don't know he just got this surge of popularity that just came back you know it's like he like they just brought it back and everybody just loved it whenever the joy of painting came back which was the name of his show so i I still don't understand exactly how it came back so well, but it did. And now a lot of people are memeing Bob Ross. <laughs> so, uh, this is the department of just go with it. Uh, so, yeah. Yee, sling it around. Come on. Yeah, it just, again, it doesn't do it quite as splashy as I was thinking. This isn't quite Mario Paint, but <laughs> let's face it, you're just doing... Uh, a variation in Minecraft, which probably doesn't translate too terribly well. Although, again, I think Bob Ross could probably do a better job with this, because you can kind of imagine which way I'm trying to go with this. I'm trying to do my usual banner pattern that I really like, which is also, in fact, my YouTube icon. So, if uh, you've been paying attention to the main icon, yes, I'm trying to do that as a flag for Galacticraft. So, yeah. So, hence why I was trying to make sure I got the right yellow. But if white's going to be easy. I just need to crank everything up right. Then I get white. So, that that's, that's going to be a lot easier. Okay. So, trying to get my... Banner. Okay. So, now I have uh, that. Let's try... Okay. Let's do about a mid... Mid yellow, maybe? Yeah, that, that looks like it might be good enough. Nah, I need a little brighter. It's just, nope, not maxing it out, just brighter. Okay, so I keep instinctively clicking on it as if I, I'm trying to prepare my brush. Just, again, I've, I've, I have, in fact, done painting programs before, so... Yeah, that, that that movement is, like, trained into you, you know? It's like, yeah, you, you just need to... I mean, it simulates, like, getting the paint on your, on, on your brush or tool, so you just want to do it that way. You want to click on the color after you get it right, like you're trying to, like, almost physically put it on your brush. So it's like, okay... Uh, maybe I can do the background the way I want to. Maybe I mean I definitely got my golden pyramid going here. And yeah, that's what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a golden pyramid, uh, with kind of a sunset behind it. And oh, kind of expanded that out a little more than I was originally intending. But that's okay. It's fine. As Bob Ross would say, happy happy little accidents. So yeah. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like a golden pyramid with uh, a sunset behind it and kind of a beam of energy emerging from it. That's kind of what it is. And so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be fulfilling getting that on my Galacticraft flag. So yeah, this is working out fairly good actually. Again, not the same way I would have expected, but it's working. It's, it's, it's just working here. So, after this, I'll do special preparations for moon launch. Uh, by the way, and yeah, it will be moon first. I, I think I might have enough materials to make a space station, but there's not much of a need in single player. I mean, to a degree there is. I, I, I could do it just to do it and maybe do some other cool customization stuff, but I'm just not entirely sure if I really need to. I mean, I could, and it does count as another dimension of its own, so... I might. But yeah... I mean, this is getting close to what I'd like. I, I mean, this will be... once this shrinks down to an actual flag, it should translate a lot better. 
It won't be quite as uh, perfectly angled as doing it banner pattern style, but it should work. Unfortunately, we don't have that mechanic able to be like just printed onto it. Like that would be cool. Like if and I'd have to check that out about later versions of Galacticraft. Can you just say use banner pattern and just smack it on your flag? Although admittedly, you could just use a banner for your flag. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's the easier way. So I'm just using this banner as my flag on the moon. Thank you. Or in some other planet. Which reminds me, I did re-add baubles here, and I have a Galacticraft uh, planets installed, because that's something you kind of need special. I may have made this a little too... Okay, so let's do the beam here. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's working in the background because I kind of have it usually coming kind of behind it, or at least looking like it's behind it. So yeah. Um. See, is that even even? Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one more. Yeah, that kind of looks right. Okay, maybe just a little bit both, maybe just a little bit this way. Yeah, that looks white enough. So, how am I going to get a good orange? That's going to be a bit of a trick. Maybe if I adjust the ratio. Bit, I can get an orange. Well, it looks like I had it for a moment there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, now this will be the tricky part. Well, kind of. I could actually make it rounder than I usually do. With that, with maybe a little rays out there. Yeah. So let's make a, like a reference set of points. But yeah, the, the reason why I put in uh, Galacticraft planets is because uh, once you start going to the moon, there's also the possibility of going into dungeons, and they would need to have Galacticraft planets so you can get your blueprints for your higher tier rockets that you'd normally use to like go to Mars and beyond. And I don't want to ruin those if I land on top of a dungeon, which is possible, not add. And... Uh, also, the fact is, I'd like to go later to Mars and beyond. Go to the asteroid belt, cool stuff. I, it, well, actually, I'm not sure if the asteroid belt is in this version. I think it is. I think I remember the asteroid belt being added in. And being... Oh, go, oh, 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 oh. Uh, so there's not... Is, is this an undo? I don't, I don't know. Uh, need to re-whiten part of that. Okay, should be close enough. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah that looks very close. You could kind of just consider that the edge of the sun's light. But yeah, I want to be able to uh, go into the great beyond way past the moon. So this is going to be kind of what I'm going to be preparing to do. And whenever I go into those places, I want to be able say I have an official Galacticraft flag. Okay, it's not perfectly even, but sometimes when you view things at an angle, that's just how it goes. What's this? Huh. I don't know. I, I can't see what this says, which is very weird. Okay. So you gotta have like some way of confirming this. 
Well, let's go to back. Oh, yeah, it, it, yeah, that worked perfectly. Sweet. Lions of Pride. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, now I can officially make my rocket and, and do things. That was awesome, designing that flag. Okay. So, let's prepare. I'll need the NASA workbench. I'll need... Uh, I think I have, like, one spare heavy-duty plate. Uh, rocket fins... Uh, that's only for the launch. Okay, got that. Okay, so I have everything for making the actual main body of the rocket. And I'll put these on right before I head out. Also, I have plenty of fuel. Uh, wait, did I need to get the loader? I think I needed to make the loader, which will be fine, actually. Fuel loader, fuel... Uh, those are different. Fuel loader. Compressed steel, tin canister, basic wafer, compressed aluminum. Yeah, I should be fine. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, the... Oh yeah, that's right, just in case I had some obsidian around here, didn't I? Okay, so... Uh, let's see, where do I want to put my NASA workbench around here? Because I could expand out, to, like, by a lot, because I, I have a ton of blocks I can use. Yeah, like, tons of blocks. Again, I, I once you've been to the ether that way, it tends to, uh add up quickly. Now, this is kind of my general tech area, so I think I'll just expand onto here real fast. How did I get that up there? Like, seriously? Why are you not hitting it? That was weird. I had to use a regular pickaxe. Seriously, Mjolnir, you're supposed to, like, always just work. Because I want to make a cool-looking platform for this. Or at least a decent extension. <laughs> well, that just kind of says that we have various types of stone. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what's going on here. It's called my perspective is off because I'm a flame wraith. Some some morphs do weird things with your uh, block placing line. Look, like I definitely went above, and yet, I mean, I definitely went below, and it went above. Okay, so let me blaze form this because I think blaze has standard placement. Okay, that will work for now. So I could put my NASA workbench there. NASA workbench. Hmm. I thought it was going to be more blocks outward. I think I'm thinking of a different version of the model. <laughs> oh well. Anyhow. Let's do this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need improved capacity. You can add chest to this to make it even better, but you don't absolutely have to. It's kind of just a bit of an auxiliary thing. So I have my nose cone, which itself is made of heavy-duty plates in a redstone torch. The heavy-duty plates are made by getting compressed steel, aluminum, and bronze together, each which is two ingots of the appropriate... well, these two are two ingots of the appropriate type in a compressor to get the compressed version. Compressed bronze, on the other hand, you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to do it that way. The way I did it was using compressed copper and compressed tin. And then you get your compressed uh, bronze plate. Now, the heavy-duty plates, as I kind of showed them before, so I needed eight of those. 
I also need rocket fins, which require heavy-duty plates themselves, as well as compressed steel. You'll need four of these for your rocket. And the Tier 1 rocket engine is a bit more complicated. You need a button, flint and steel, uh, four heavy-duty plates, a tin canister, which itself is made out of seven tin ingots. You need uh, an oxygen vent, which is compressed steel and compressed tin. So it kind of gets a little complex. But now I have the Tier 1 rocket. Yes! And this is hilarious to view, and, and I'm, I'm wondering, uh, with my uh, glitchiest form and holding this, how will I look? I kind of got to do this. It doesn't even show it. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even know how to, to, to show it, even in a funny way. Nope, I'm not holding the rocket. It's, it's, it's not, not showing it here. Okay, so I got to do this the usual reveal way. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm holding a giant rocket. <laughs> because, oh, it still has me messed up. Oh, it still has me messed up because it doesn't know how to handle th this holding position and gloves from the ether. I'm wearing diamond gloves and they're just dangling off. <laughs> While I'm holding this giant rocket above my head. Oh my gosh. This is always a very amusing part of Galacticraft. Uh, but yeah. Okay, now I'm going to need my... Uh, my flagpole. At least I think it's flagpole. Flag? Flagpole. Oh, it even has the icon with my my team flag I made. Sweet. It's a canvas steel poles. Steel poles are compressed. I need a lot of compressed steel. Uh, canvas is string and sticks. That'll be fairly easy. I've got good supplies of string. At least I think I do. So that'll be, that'll work out. Uh, okay. So let me walk over here and put this in my projects chest because now I officially have the rocket. And I do have my launch pad. My launch pad is again lots of iron, compressed iron in blocks of iron. And you, you get all nine at once, so that's, that's good. Okay, so rocket. Okay, so. I need, see how much, I need, uh, I'll need to do this twice because it's three, it's three steel poles. Is there anything else it goes towards other than this is what I'm wondering. Basic solar panel. Okay, so having one left over is fine. I did not know if that would actually work out. Advanced solar panel. Okay. And... Astro Miner. Okay, okay, I know I got things in here right, because that is what you need to do things in the uh, asteroid belt, I believe. So, yeah, I, I, I got, I got uh, worlds to travel to and beyond, so cool. Okay, now let me see here. I needed to get the fuel loader, so that's going to require, I know, a lot of compressed steel. Uh, five just for that. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, steep into the old uh, supply set here. And if if I don't have enough there, I can get more because of my miner, well, my laser miner. Oh, I have my. Go in there, obsidian. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I have some coal. I have blocks of coal. I have. Uh, may have to decompress some of my iron, because this is going to be like a lot. Because it, it, it's like always two uh, per. So let me think here. I'll need. Uh, let me see here. I need five for this. Plus, I needed several for the flagpole. So flagpole. It just says flag. Okay, steel pole. Okay, so I'm going to need like six compressed steel just for that. Oh, this is adding up fast. Okay. So it's like six compressed steel. 
plus 5 is like 11. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna need more coal. Please tell me you've mined some up for me. Oh yeah, that, 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 that'll work out beautifully. In fact, I'll probably be doing it with this ironwood pick because I need at least a little bit of fortune. Because uh, it's going to take a lot more than that first thought. Also, this won't smash all the way through. <laughs> because Mjolnir is super fast. It will definitely wreck my platform right below. And I almost did right there. Whew. Like Spike at the weirdest timing. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to need a ton of this. Because I'm going to need like... 11 compressed. Okay, so I'm going to need like 22 iron, and I still don't have enough coal. Seriously? Well, I suppose I can start on it. Because that's, that's like a lot. And I can always just see if more shows up later, so. Yeah. But still, that is a lot. Um. <laughs> And I don't think you can add uh, others. Well, can I add charcoal to that? That's a good question. Uh, well, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay, that's empty. So metallurgic infuser, just stockpile up. Okay, so I need more coal. Um, well, actually, this area is chunk loaded. So I can actually exit this place and just go on a coal smashing rampage real fast. And then I'd be able to just kind of gather more. At least I think I can't use charcoal in there. Because it does kind of specifically point to coal. But that's not absolutely true either. At least I don't think so. We could. We could throw you that little curveball going, no, 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 we're going to use only coal. Okay, so I'm going to zip out of here for a moment and get myself some coal. So I can achieve wine. So, yes. Winged venom! Acid rain! Again. Sorry. Mr. Goodness, but I just don't believe you because it's never worked before. Uh, <laughs> at least in this world. Yeah, the marsh. And also, I need to check to see if I got any coal stockpiled over here because that would be kind of a no. Ether stuff. Mm, tech stuff that does not include coal. Uh, mob drops, modded mob drops, various things related to creatures to help out. No. Oh, that reminds me, that's where my, my extra wither skeleton is, so I need to take that back from my altar. Okay. Chest that has no specific gift right now. Oh! Lots of coal! Oh, thank goodness. Uh, well, that takes care of that. Uh, Realize I had quite that much of a stockpile. But that does make things a lot easier. Okay. So flame wraith form should be sufficient. Whee! Okay. And as I said before, that area is chunk loaded, so it's still doing its uh its uh operation while I'm out. Yes, thank you, uh, world anchor. I mean that's just such a nice balanced design. You actually use interpearls to do it as fuel, so it does have a fuel. It's a vanilla fuel. It's something that's semi-precious, so it, it, it does its job for a price. And it looks to me like I've still got about uh, a little over three hours worth to work it. Okay. So how close are you? Yeah, it kept going while I was gone. Also, I did upgrade this a few times uh, for speed, so that does help. But yeah, to get steel uh, in single player a version of this, it's best to use the metallurgic infuser from Mechanism, and you give it uh, 
carbon in the form of coal, as I showed before, to get this part uh, fueled up, and then it'll infuse that into your materials, in this case, iron, to get enriched iron. And enriched iron, you do that again, again with carbon too, might add, to get steel dust. And steel dust can be quickly cooked into steel. So let me see, how much do I have here? Because I need some more. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's at 200. I'll need two more units here. Okay, because it uses up 10 units, or basically one unit of whatever you put in uh, per operation. Okay, so I'll have my flagpole. And, uh, oh, I need to work on my basic wafer for that thing while I'm at it, because that'll take a little while to process at least. Okay, loader. So I need at least a few other components. Okay, and compressed aluminum and more tin, although I think I have tin already there. Okay, basic wafer, silicon, redstone, redstone torch, and diamond. Okay, I have plenty of diamonds. Yes, I do. Redstone... I think I have a redstone torch left over in my kind of side effects of doing things chest. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, okay, there. Got my aim back. Thank you. Okay, uh, two silicon. And while I'm at it... There. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, casual uh four point five thousand. Okay. That's 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 very nice. Uh this is with me not even trying. <laughs> uh just just I haven't even made the concerted effort to get the other two things yet. Or planted more diverse stuff. Although admittedly putting it next to my garden it was a really good idea. Okay, so let's uh let's do this part over here. Okay, while well, that thing keeps going, let me see. Osmium compressor. I don't really use that thing very much, but I do have it. Circuit fabricator. There we go. Okay, so two silicon. Uh, diamond. Seems to need that every time. Redstone torch. And there we go. So it did say basic wafer. Yeah, it did. So this will charge it up in just a moment. Now, you can't really upgrade these, but that's fine. <laughs> you don't need to use this too terribly often. Thank you. Very clunky. Okay, uh, let me see here. I also needed to get... Uh, what was it? Compressed aluminum? Do I have compressed aluminum? I Okay, I have compressed aluminum thought I made a lot uh, earlier, and I have the tin canister. Sweet. It's good that sometimes you get a few extra at one craft so you can use the next one. Okay, so I just need to wait for my steel to be done. Well, kind of wait for it. Because it's, it, again, it's almost over. So this will be ready very soon, and then I'll be able to have my... Oh, wait, I also needed to get my... I need to make sure my flag is got its canvas ready. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to make sure I have enough. Okay, how much string did I actually need? Because I know it needed canvas and that used the string. Four canvas at five string each. So I need 20 string. Okay, can I get that casually this way? Good thing I'm raising cotton. Okay, uh, let me see here. Agricultural stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, that 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 might be enough. Uh, let, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, that's not it. Uh-huh. Uh that's about half. I think I might have some more somewhere else. 
At least I think so. And I can bone meal it if I get some bones, so that's not too big of a deal. Actually, let me check my witchery stuff, because I know I need string for that, and I've kind of gotten stuff I need for witchery in this chest. Oh, I have tons of string. Okay, so... So that will be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I know I have extra sticks around here somewhere. Oh yeah, I have, like, super plenty of sticks. Okay, and did the, my machines uh, shut down? Do I do I have a? Uh... Yeah, that's it. Did metallurgic fuser, energized smelter. You just smelt that up while I do stuff. Okay, uh, let me see here. Turning around, turning around. Okay. Okay, so to make the canvas again, I need two sticks each and a boatload of strength. Oh, <laughs> okay, that, that's just, uh, that was easy. Okay, uh, I still need my steel poles, though. Yeah, it's, that I'm going to have to wait on. Uh, actually, that's not going to take too terribly long. Goodness. I guess I can just take this uh, moment to nibble something. So what do I got here? So I am a little bit low. Hmm, I can also use that. That would be sweet, just to do while I'm waiting. Hmm, let me see, what do I have to nibble? I have some cooked fish, that's decently saturating. I have cherries, because I was going around finding trees. Have a tremendous supply of bread. <laughs> uh, just a hilariously large supply of bread. Oh wait, I can do that thing again. I've been doing one, two, three, four. This is something cool. I'd like to show off here. I uh, guess I'll put this in my projects, uh, along with the other ingredients that I need for that. So that's what I'm actively doing. Okay, now I need... Happen to have an egg? Thank you, thank you. That's just perfect. Okay, do I have sugar in here? Let me that would be more over here if I, if I had some extra. Uh, no. To grab some sugar. Okay, because I am making myself a meat pie. Doink. Perfect. But yeah, this is a Grimoire Gaia thing. If you have meat morsels from the mod, from defeating some of the enemies, you can make yourself a meat pie. It actually grants you some experience. Uh, it also does like a little slowing effect for a little while. But that's okay. So I'm gonna have myself a meat pie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, do this with the uh, electric compressor. Okay, this goes pretty quickly, actually, because it does them faster than you might think. Eleven each stack, two, nine each. It, it does the two at a time to make these. And it's pretty, it's decent rate on its own. Now I need to put my coal up in case I need it again. Way I have that way I've made absolutely sure it's in my yeah there we go wait did I have something weird in there no. nah I'm just seeing things <laughs> okay so I will get my flagpole I'll have my uh, fuel loader in a moment and then it will be time to take off then I will be able to end things on the moon in a very dramatic flight. Although, admittedly, I'm also curious about a few things, so we'll see. Oh, that reminds me. I need to uh, grab my energy cube, because I will probably need this. <laughs> okay. Um... Why is my... Okay, there it goes. 
was going to say, my hammer has had a weird aim day. Okay, so let's grab a few things. I will need to make my flagpole. Let's see. Okay. So, flagpole. Oh, flag. This is going to be super dramatic whenever I do it, and I'm going to wait for the moment to do it. I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to do that early. That's something I have to do just right. Okay, projects needed... These two. One of these. One of these. Although, admittedly, I should probably put the oop, wrong thing. Admittedly, I should pr probably put the uh, extra of that in here. Uh, just a moment. Uh, but yeah, let me see here. I'm doing this here. Need. See, what was that? Uh, loader. Okay, that, that went down to the bottom. Okay, well, I could just do this. Yoink. For space program guidance, see McDoodle. Hey, should you be getting an achievement then instead? I don't know. Okay, anyhow, I have all the components that I need for this. So I have that, I have... Oh wait, I, I probably should put these on first. Oxygen tanks? I do not need a parachute, because I will uh, be able to float around easily. Oh, wait, I need something to store my fuel. Uh, I have enough room in here. Eh, kind of-ish. Not really too much, but it'll work. I mean, I don't really need it to be a big amount. I just need it to be able to give me my fuel back, so... I know I need to sort a few things, since my journey in the ether. <laughs> Namely, I need to throw a few things into my uh, ether chest. Uh, <laughs> uh, more than a few, but yeah. Okay, you know, actually I should probably prep this already to be into the right mode. Because I'm going to need that mode whenever I get there. Okay, launch pad, check. Fuel loader, check. Tier 1 rocket, check. Mysterious piece of cobblestone that probably could be thrown onto my uh, stone chest to contribute to my compressed cobble, check. Uh, flagpole, uh-huh. Uh, rocket, yes. And my model is not showing perfectly, so... Oops, wrong thing. Uh, Want to uh, display this while I can? Yep, shows up on my back, so we're good. Okay, so now I just need to flame wraith form my way to a cloud. Which, uh, come on, come on, let's go. Let's do this. Let's let's do this. It's just a little bit further, and I'm there. I need to find the topmost cloud layer. Uh, and it had to be at night where things might interfere, because I don't want to run into something on my way up either. That would be bad. At least I got my cat back in. That took a little wrangling. <laughs> I still don't know how in the world she got back out. I don't know how. Well, I don't know how she got outside in the first place. Seriously, that the, the cat pulled a Houdini a while back. Good. Okay, there we go. Uh, above this tree should be a good line to see things. Yes. 
yes. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I'm not being hit by a cloud or something. I don't know how high up the nature clouds stop, but I don't want to smash into one because that would be bad. Actually, that looks like that might have been it. I think that's as, I think that's as far as they go. I think it's like pretty close to standard cloud layer when they stop. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. I'll just try to make sure I'm not in morph mode whenever I take off, because it would be kind of weird if that ruined my whole rocket launch. Uh, <laughs> okay. Woohoo! Poof. Um, basic energy cube might be. Okay, so let's see here. Fuel loader. Oh wait, this might have one of those. E okay, let's face it this way and just see how it goes. Oh wait, no, no, no. I needed to do it the other way. I needed to. Need to get this thing there first. Yep. Oh, come on. Does it look like it has a nozzle pointed? Okay, it's interfacing. It's interfacing. That's all I really needed to to make sure that it did. Okay. Now. Stop loading. Okay. Okay. So I have it fueled onto there. Now I must do this correctly. I must do this not in morph. I have to do it this way. <laughs> this is the only way to do this properly. Who the it's ready. Not enough power. Do I need to config you? Eject on. Every, wait. Did it trigger or not? Oh, come on, please. Sometimes it's hard to say which direction this really is. Not enough power. I mean, this is a decent energy cube. I should be fine. It's spinning. Ah, uh, why? I see. What's is there? Is there? What's the inventory button? Okay, I, I I'm gonna have to insert manually. Huh more damage than I thought it would. Okay. Oop. I inside it the wrong way. Okay. So I need to... Can I remove it from it? Oh. I might not be able to do this. It'd be very, very awkward. Uh... Not letting me Ugh. doodle. Why is this not working? Okay. Now are you giving it power? 
why does this not... I have all sides turned on. Wait, maybe it needs to be set to RF. Um, no, that's not it. Let's try it that way. Items can't eject, obviously. Gee, why does this not have enough power? Well, I really need to make a battery for this thing. So I, I don't want to have to. And I was going to launch from the overworld, so... Uh, battery... Speed, compressed tin, redstone, and coal. I suppose I'm gonna have to do that. Ugh. All this, all this, and it it, it doesn't want to launch. Yep. Okay. This is a uh, glitch reaper here. I guess I'm gonna have to figure this out between episodes, and tomorrow will be my main launch. Well, at least I got my flagpole designed and everything, which was very nice actually. Uh, so. When I'm back, this should be... Well, actually, there is one more step I can probably take. Let me... Let me, uh... Oh, wait, that's right. It won't let it... It won't let the fuel get back out. Ugh. That's right. I was going to do that manually, but then... Ugh. Okay. I'll, I'll be... I'll be back tomorrow with the actual launch. I'm just very disappointed this did not work. Okay. So, this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off for now. Hope to hear from y'all later. So, bye for now, everybody.